What is up guys, your boy Axel, and today I'm bringing you a new series. Um, this is Ninja Heroes Reborn. You have to download it off a website. Um, I think it's their official website. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. It took me a while to find it, but yeah. Um, we're actually starting a new series on a brand new server that just opened up today. Um, we're not going to spend any money unless uh, people endorse us or help want to help give us money. But yeah. So this is my account, guys. I'll try to explain it really simply, and then we'll go straight to the thing. So basically, guys, this is composed of a bunch of ranks and what they do, basically. So I'll talk about it. There's SS Ninjas, S Ninjas, A Ninjas, B Ninjas, C, and D Ninjas. Um, basically, your goal is to get the highest level and up level them up as high as you can. As you'll see here on this menu below, um, I have a team of three. I have Pain, Obito, and Orochimaru. Um, that's my team. Uh, you can also deploy them, which means that you can get certain skills off this. So, yeah. What I did is, as you see, the lines that connect are the extra bonus skills you're getting. So, I have plus 20 attack, uh, plus 20 defense, plus 150 HP, and plus 20 agility. Um, I usually only save up S rank people. I usually I don't save anything under it. Like the dude on the far right's about to be trash, but yeah, I have. I'll show you my team. All the ninjas I have that I keep. I have Pain, Obito, Orochimaru, Kakashi, Psychic Mizukage, uh, Killer B, Onoki, Kazekage Gara, and Kinkaku and Naruto and Flame Plate. Uh, dude will be kicked out. Um. Basically, I'll explain this. Uh, basic capture is you get a ninja from rank D to C, and this is a rank A. So as you see, it says escape. I'm glad it did that. Uh, basically, um, you can it shows any type of uh, ninja. It, it um, basically, if it's if it's from rank A, S or SS, if you get it under basic capture every single time, you will miss it. Um, I'll spend a couple uh, gems here to get an advanced capture if I'm lucky. But on this one, you have you can get any type of uh, person. As y'all see, my Wi-Fi is kind of lagging. This is a B rank. Um, it's Anko Midrashi. So yeah, uh, I'll feed her. Under here is your skill building. Um, you can uh, let's see here. Uh, it costs 50 gold to get an advanced training, but the thing is, is like the capturing a ninja thing, um, you, uh, you can get a possibility of a C to an SS rank skill. Under scroll training, you can get these from completing missions and all that, I'll go into that later on, but yeah, so basically you can get from the basic skills to, uh, these. The cool thing about these is that if you get a scroll, for example, that is the one guaranteed thing you get, so if you get an SS scroll... Uh, you have a 100% chance of getting an SS scroll, uh, an SS attack. So let's head it to the next building. Next building is the ramen shop. Basically, it's a cheap way to get gold or silver. They call it the middle green button on the top. Um, you can only do it three times a day unless you uh, get VIP. Uh, I spent about twenty dollars on this game because I'm a huge Naruto nerd. But yeah. Next is the summoning place. Uh, uh, basically, you pick a person. Um, like him, and you get one free try a day. Uh, spending gold on this is really pointless unless you just have a million gold. But basically, you have a chance at getting a certain uh, thing. Like all mine have the slug healing thing because I want my people to be able to heal. Except for him, I just got him recently, so this will be a healing spell as soon as possible. Next is the Shadow Ninja Hall. Um, basically, you have a chance of getting new players every five levels. Uh, I'll explain like why you should be slow on this when on the next video when we actually start off. I'll probably just, this video will be explaining only type stuff probably, but yeah, uh, it starts off with all these C ranks and then B starts right here at this dude with a blue bandana. I don't know what it's called. Uh, right beside Haku is what I'll say. Um, A rank start at Kursil Sasuke, and then the S rank comes. After Donzo, so at Kabuto Yabakushi, the Snake Sage, uh, at 85s when you get the S ranks. So next is the Hot Springs. 
Uh, this is a good place at the very beginning of the game because you can level up your uh, people. Um, they do say some retarded bullshit in here, so if you see it, just deal with it. I mean, it's kind of retarded, but yeah. Next is the Senior Ninja Trial. And to basically explain this really, really easily, guys, it's like the Tower of Ascension. <laughs> like, if you've played Summoner's War, it's like the Tower of Ascension. Next is the Tailed Beast Altar. Basically, you get Chakra, um, and you can give it to certain people. Like, there's certain chak there's like Chakra types, and I'll explain it later on. But basically, you um, can give one to each person. I didn't mean to do that, but yeah. Basically, this is not better. It does more damage, but I need fire, because Obito is a fire-type person, so I cannot use water. Um, and the last place is the Arena. This is a cool place. You can buy stuff. Um, I'm trying to save up for a Hashirama Senju. 70,000. I'm currently at 4,000. So it'll take me like a year. But yeah. Um, some basic other things is uh, the laboratory. This is where you get XP. Feed these three dudes. And basically when you get to the 250, you get a star. Which makes your dude more powerful. And then you, it goes up higher. But you can still do it over and over again. Next is Forge. Uh, you can forge all your gear here. Uh, you can also upgrade it, refine it, which means like uh, making it better and all that stuff. Uh, next is the Warehouse. Um, this is where you keep all your material, the equipment, the items, and the material. There's two pages of this, so you have plenty of material you can get. And lastly is Clans. I do have Clans in this game, but they're kind of pointless at this time of day. So, I mean, kind of need to deal with it, I guess. But yeah, you can have friends on here, guys, but um, eh, I never really use them, honestly, so it's whatever. But I mean, yeah, friends are a thing. Uh, exchange, oh, sorry, guys, Um, basically, um, let's see here. You can get certain people off of um, getting their cards to come on certain levels and all that. Um, you can, they recently added in S ranks, but mostly you can only get A ranks and, uh, below, uh, you can most likely, I believe, get, uh, where's it at, Hinata, I believe, you can get, like, off the bat, pretty much, but yeah, next is daily events, um, there's the announcement every day you get when you log in, daily reward, uh, the good stuff doesn't come in until about the second week, the class S gearbox, then that's the good stuff. You get good gear and all that. And yeah. Next is level package. Every five levels you get new materials. So I'm about to hit 65. So I'm about to get 300 gold. 100,000 silver. Uh, times five secret of earth. And uh, one class A gearbox. And then it just gets better and better from here out, from there on out. Next is the ramen house. So I showed you all that before, earlier in the video. There's a Wacka Ninja, which is basically getting free material. I'll show y'all, I guess. Uh, it gets kind of fast, so you have to do it kind of fast. But uh, you can get almost anything. But the more rare it is, is the more or less you'll get it. So, after that, there is the Invasion of the Tail Beast. If you live in the USA, this time is meaningless. So, like, example, if that's at 20 hundred, that's at 10 at uh, 8 at night. That's like 7 in the morning for us. Like, it's retarded. Like, I don't even know. Uh, here's your mail. Um, usually whenever a new server opens up, it'll tell you here. I already deleted it. So, yeah. Uh, here's the hot events. That's for spending real money. Don't worry about that, guys, unless y'all want to spend money. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. The Great Ninja War is basically just like, killing people. You only have, like, one chance, though. Um, here's a store. Excuse me. Um... Basically, you can buy anything in here, uh, pretty much, honestly, but um, I would save it up, and I'll explain it later on. But yeah, last is your quest. You got 15 quests. You can do uh, one requires spending money monthly, um, but it's not like it doesn't charge you every month. You have to like buy a card or whatever. But um, yeah, you get 20, 40, and 60 gold depending on how much you do. 20 for 5, 40 for 10, and 60 for 15. And yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, next video, we'll be going straight into uh, the new uh, the new server, and we're going to try being the very best, guys. So, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If y'all enjoyed, uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and yeah, peace out, guys.